God bless you, everyone, at the sound of my voice. Now, welcome to today's teaching. This is a serious series of teaching on the value of a human soul. Today's part five. The value of a human soul. Today is part five. It's going to be powerful. Fine some paper or a pad to write something on. Today we are going to explain your riches in Christ. Which is your position in Christ. Your authority in Christ. Oh, it's going to be so powerful. Enemy is in trouble. Enemy of your progress. Enemy of your breakthrough. They are in trouble. I will say that let us go to the presence of God Almighty in prayer. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for what you have done for us in Christ. Bible said the entrance of your word gives light. The light of the gospel. Permit home. Clean that quota. Yes, that light is permit for me right now. In the name of Jesus. God will be revelation that take of frustration. Yes, revelation will take of all frustrations in the name of Jesus. Receive the revelation now in Jesus' name. Amen. You are welcome. Today is part five of the value of a human soul. Part five. Let's see what Jesus said about the human value of human soul. It's a single soul. In Mark chapter 8, this is recap from the previous teaching. Verse 36. Mark 8, 36. Jesus says, For what shall each profit a man? If he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Which means a single soul. Is more than the old world. A single soul is more than the old world. What Jesus say here? So if you are born again, if you are born again, you are rich more than the richest person on earth. If you are born again, you are rich more than the richest person on earth. Tell me you. That's what Jesus said. What's the profit of man? Nothing. This is what to compare so. Nothing. Listen. The most richest person on earth, worth, listen to me, as from today, worth $200 billion. His name is Jeff Bezos, the man that owned Amazon company. Statistics say nobody ever worth $200 billion on earth. Next to that is Bill Gates. Bill Gates is $130 billion. But this will say if you are born again, you are richer than the richest. Those people have measured their name unless they are born again. Because the thing of this world will give you comfort. But they cannot clarify confusion. Only in Christ. Let me just read something for you in the Bible, then I will explain it to you. And that is why the first weapon that God gave to us in efficiency is is truth, a belt of truth. As an army, a soldier of God. Because the truth is the only thing that set us free. Are you bound? Your freedom is coming to you now through Jesus Christ. Here it reads Romans chapter 8, verse 32. Romans chapter 8, verse 32 in Amplified Bible. Listen to what Bible says. It said, he who did not withhold or spare even 
his own son, but gave him up for us all. Listen to this. Will he not also with him freely, Adalanda, freely and graciously give us other things? Anything you can think about. God gave us Jesus. Every other thing, God is ready to give to us freely. Which means when you are in Christ, listen to me right now, you have what money cannot buy. Number one, in Christ, you have sound mind. <laughs> See, yeah? sound mind is your portion. Say that, sound mind is my Portion. So I come against every confusion to leave you. That is First Corinthians chapter two verse sixteen. First Corinthians two sixteen. Money cannot buy sand man. Number two, your peace for your soul. Peace for that soul. Your soul will be at peace. I will read it for you. That's why Jesus said. A single soul is more than the whole world. He said it will keep you in a perfect peace. Listen to me. That is Jeremiah 26, verse 3. God will give you, it will keep you in a perfect peace because your soul trusts in Him. He will give you sound mind, is in Christ, and will give you. Peace in your soul. Money cannot buy peace. I'm telling you, money can buy beautiful house, but it cannot buy peace. But it's in Christ. Oh, praise the Lord. Number three, serenity. Your emotion, you become. Your emotion. Hallelujah. Patient will cover your emotion. You know why these three things? You have a sand man, you have a peaceful soul, and you have a serenity in your emotion. Those are the things money cannot buy. It's in Christ. Because the moment you come to Jesus, your spirit, and Jesus' spirit become one. And the spirit that carry soul, emotion, spirit carry that. Is the foundation for your soul, for your emotion, for your mind. So your spirit and Christ become one. <laughs> Glory be to God. You are like a lion in the wilderness. Lion is not as big as elephant. But lion, we are who she is. He is the king of the jungle. So your victory is not about your size on the outside. It's about your source in Christ. Listen to what the Bible says in Ephesians 1 3. Ephesians 1 3 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. You are blessed with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. God put those blessings in Christ. So when you are in Christ, <laughs> glory be to God, you're born again. You see yourself blessed. Today, I'm going to tell you how to tap into your blessing. I'm going to tell you. Philemon, I'm going to quote a lot of scripture so you can read it by yourself. Philemon, it's only one chapter. Chapter 1, verse 6. Philemon 1, 6. That the communication of the faith may become effectual. Uh, effectual means uh, works. That's why we have the word energy. And the communication of your faith will work. Why? By the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you in Christ Jesus. In other words, when you begin to speak to yourself, I'm blessed. Have a sound mind, a peace of soul. You begin to communicate that. It comes to materialization. So in Christ, it's not that you are going to be blessed. You are blessed already. You're blessed already. So you begin to pray.
from your position, you tell the devil to back off. Devil, back off. From my mind, go. From my home, go. From my family. You begin to speak that from your position. You don't cry and cast out devil from condition. Oh, devil, leave me. Devil, no. I remember many years ago in Nigeria, in the village, I was coming from prayer in the morning time. And I fight. Some of you have heard that from me. I met a woman. It was a witch. She was coming from the meeting. I ran after her. I said, fall down. No, she didn't fall down. She entered the bush. I ran after her in the bush. Fall down. Fall down. I curse you. Nah. And the Spirit of God is telling me, say, we shall we shall. They are done already. Where is it in Christ? I don't know. I don't see anybody to explain to me. They are wish and wish on the world. You cause them is good. I believe in causing them. But don't do that in your condition. You may be down. But you just take devil back off. You do that because in Christ you are blessed. Uh, glory be to God. So all this above, some mind. Peace of soul, strengthen your emotion, all are in Christ for you to enjoy. God gave you all these things in Christ for you to enjoy. I'm talking about the value of a single soul. Are you troubled in your home, in your family, in your finance? Then you address those problems from your position in Christ. Praise God. You know, in John chapter 10, I will read this one again in Amplified Bible. John 10, 10, in Amplified Bible, say, The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy him. If you are going through a problem, it's the work of the enemy, the work of the devil. But this teaching, I will teach you how to pray, how to value who you are in Christ. And Jesus said, I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflow. The life in Christ will overflow. Peace of mind. Hallelujah. Sound mind. Serenity in your emotion overflow. There's no life like this anywhere except in Christ. What is Zoe? Life of God. That is why if you are a Christian, you are born again. You need to witness to the dying world. I don't care how much they accumulate. Without Christ, their souls in trouble. Without Christ, death. I'm told the eternal death forever is waiting for them. And God says, you need to tell them. If you don't tell them, Jesus say, I will hold you responsibility. We have an obligation to tell this world about Jesus. Because in him... Satan is falling. In him, demon is screaming. In him, hell is closed. Look at what he said after resurrection. Jesus said something. In John 20, verse 23, this is the word after resurrection. Jesus said, Who said, Whosoever sins you remain to take away, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever, and whosoever sin, you retain, they are retained. Why Jesus said that? He said, he said salvation is in the gospel. Deliverance is in the gospel. Power is in the gospel. If you don't pray the gospel, there are sin remain there. Listen, God instructed me to teach in the school of evangelism. We start on the 28th of this month. And it will end in June 30. Ten next thing. I'll be telling you why Jesus said this more. Angel will not come down to preach the gospel. God will not come down. Jesus will not come down to preach the gospel. It's for you and I. Because in Christ, the price is paid. So you don't have to pray 
for salvation. You pray for God to send labor to the world. You don't pray, God, say my brother, it's a good prayer. But biblical prayer is pray long. Send somebody to preach the gospel. And you are grown in the school of this evangelism. You're going to be equipped how to do the work of the master. This thing, if you're a pastor and you are hearing me, teach your church how to win souls. If you don't go out to win souls for God, for the kingdom, that is not church. Sorry to tell you that. It's not church. It's a community center. The work of faithful minister is to keep the saints for the work of the gospel. Because we are living in the last day. This is the fulfillment of Micah 4. Fulfillment of Micah 4, verses 1 to 3. When God says, this is time to gather harvest. Say the old one will be coming to the church, to Mount Zion, the church, to ask her what is going to happen in the world. The world out there is dangerous. Satan is angry now. But this is time for the shot to shine. <laughs> Glory be to God. You know, listen. Listen to me. Salt don't need to be loud in order to, to bring flavor, flavor in the soup. Little salt is enough to bring flavor. It's like if you put salt in the bottle, you put it down, and you are cooking your soup. There's no flavor in that soup. Even though the bottle is near, the bottle of salt is near the soup. You, know? you, have, to, you have to open the bottle. You have to put little salt in that soup before the flavor can come out. You don't need much. If you don't do that, you just put it there. That salt is good for nothing. Jesus said that. He said, if you don't witness to this world, he said, you are good for nothing. That is not be your portion. That is not be your portion. Listen to what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Jesus said, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, where we shall he be salted? It is therefore good for nothing. Good for nothing, Christian. You go to church, you pray, you sing, you go out. You come back, pray, you sing, you go out. It's good to come to church, it's good to pray, but are you going out to bring souls? Jesus said, if you don't do that, you are good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. A lot of churches are like that. Five for title, five for position. Talk about here you join your church. Is that what God called you to do? He said, go out. Don't cause darkness. Don't cause that as I did before. I was that before. Call demon. Fall down, fall down, fall down. I will do it that in my condition. This thing is good to do that. You do that in the authority of Jesus. You reach out for thy war. But that you are good for nothing. Nothing God cannot do for anything that do the will of God. When he asked the Israelites, it is time for you to get out from Pharaoh Egypt slave. Pharaoh said, no. Do not go put ten plagues problem for the enemy of the people of God from the water turn to blood come on right now to the air darkness for three days listen from the cow die cow to the firstborn shall die put frog in all their homes put bar in their body lies or cover them Come on, the, the water mingle with fire and hail was coming down upon them because of the people of Israel. So listen, nothing God cannot do if you're ready to go. Listen, to bring souls. 
They will come against you one way. They will fall down several ways. By the way, if you want to study what God did for his people in Egypt, send to me. I will send it to you. You study it. Study it. So stop where cry, oh God, come us all them. Oh God, kill them. Oh God. When you are enjoying the, doing the will of God by bringing soul, we deal with your enemy. Your job is just to say, devil, take your hand off in the name of Jesus. That is what I'm going to be teaching you in this school of evangelism. You're going to be equipped. You're going to be equipped. I'm going to be telling you the gift of righteousness. The gift of peace is yours in Christ. The power of the blood of Jesus. The power in the name of Jesus. The last day happens. Do you want to enroll? The Lord is telling me, telling me, the best is coming for you. God is waiting for you now. There's a place in Christ the enemy cannot touch. It's a place of service from position. There's a place in Christ that demon cannot near. It's a place of service in Christ. Don't forget, it's a service in Christ. You don't just serve Christ so he can take you home. No. You serve him because peace, serenity, joy is in him. Then we take care of your enemy one by one. <laughs> Glory be to God. Let me read this one in the book of his, uh, um, Exodus. This is what God did for, the, for his people. When Pharaoh said they will not let them go. I will do it for you now. You are just a role being that School of evangelism. You see the power of gospel. Gospel is the solution for racism. Because when you are in Christ, you don't see race as a barrier. You see race as a bridge to reach others in Christ. No Jew or gender, no gender barrier in Christ. It becomes gender bridge to reach out. Look, ex Exodus, as somebody get blessed right now. Somebody will get blessed now. Every attack of the enemy that don't allow you to sleep is gone now in the name of Jesus. Confusion is not your portion. Say that confusion. You are not my portion. Some man is my portion. Peace is my portion. Somebody to say that. I, I send that in my spirit. You are a role. You email me repofaculty at gmail.com. It's one word. You email me. And I will send the information for the school of evangelism. Where you are ruined this last day harvest. The fulfillment of Micah. God's looking forward for you. You are so valuable to the extent that Antichrist will not dare take over when you are here doing your father's business. Jesus said, occupy it like God. This is what God did for the enemy of Israel. I want to do that for you when you are on the move for the Lord. Exodus 14. I want to read verse 13 to 15. You will do much more than this in Christ when you're ready to move and bring so. Exodus 14, verse 13 to 15 says, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, are you afraid? I'm telling you, don't be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you listen, you shall see them again no more forever and like that forever. And when you are doing God's will, and the enemy you see today over your children, over your head, over your finance, we don't deny problem. But in Christ, there's a solution. Look at them, see in verse 15, he said, And the Lord said unto Moses, We are for why are you crying to me? Speak of the world. Tell me to the children that they go forward. I'm saying today, go forward. Go and plant that. Go and take that job. Go forward. Go and marry. Go forward. Go and start that business. It, it, the attack of that, the advancement, has been arrested in Christ. I will tell you how God is doing that. I did it then. I want to do much more now. Listen in verse 14. I want to read it again. And the Lord shall find for you 
and you shall hold your peace. The Lord is fighting for you. Get yourself busy in the kingdom agenda. And come and see this victory come to manifestation. It's done already in Christ. But when you get busy for him, you trigger this heavenly blessing by faith. <laughs> Somebody is blessed right now. God is telling me, you are a pastor, you are watching me now. It's God is telling me that he's taking problems away from your ministration now. To go to the next level. So God is telling me that somebody is watching me now. Your home, your marital home is not good. God says, taking chaos and tension away. Feel Kalababa. It's giving you peace. Listen, let me pray for you. I send the Holy Ghost. I want to pray. If you, first of all, before I pray for you, if you are not saved, say this was say, Lord Jesus. Say that, Lord Jesus. Come and be my Lord and my Savior. Say amen. When you say that, I'm ready to join my faith with your faith. With your faith. I don't know where you are watching this from. But in Christ, distance is irrelevant. I raise up my hand. Stretch your hand towards this direction now. I come against every attack in your home, in your family, in your job, in your health. Lose the host enemy. And let the people of God go free. I come against you now. Lose the whole kind of every attack. Fear. Panic attack. You are gone forever in Christ. Amen. Wow. Praise God. I send the Holy Ghost. Let me know what God is doing in your life right now. And let me share your testimony. Your praise report. And if you have any Prayer, you want us to pray. As a group of prayer, in actual, every Thursday we pray for the need of people. Listen, I will continue on this, on this Friday. The same time, the same place. Share this one with all your social platforms. Share it. And don't forget this coming Sunday, make sure you go to Bible Believing Church where your new life reality is going to be taught. Where you know the difference between the secular life and the spiritual life, between the suki natural life and zoe, the life of God. And if you're anywhere in Rodeland, our church is God's family church, 1525 Broad Street in Cranston. You can't miss it. Our service there is 9 30 every Sunday. Come and join the winners. You will be taught and you will be equipped and Satan is under your feet. Say amen and amen. God bless you. It's my 